Did you know there's a magic wand tool in Illustrator? Yeah, me neither, but here's how you can use it. So it's a selection tool. It's right underneath your selection tool here in Illustrator in your toolbar, and it's the magic wand tool, and the shortcut key is Y. Now if we double click on this tool, double click, we get the magic wand tool options. We can select objects that are the same, fill color, stroke color, stroke weight, opacity, blending mode, so you can check mark these if you want and select the same. And then you have a tolerance level. Is it within 32, not swatches, but like, I don't know, 32 increments of the color that you select, then it will select them, right? So you can make that tolerance like zero, but um, 32 is the default. So we'll keep it there. So how's this thing work? Well, you've got the magic wand tool selected. You can just say, I want to select everything that is this purple color in my document. Click on that purple, and boom, you have a selection of all the purple colors. Now you could just double click on the fill and say, this should actually be green, and hit OK. And so all those purple colors turn green because you have them selected, so you can make adjustments to them. You can select all the blue, select all the orange. This is basically a quicker way to do this select, and then select same, and then once you have a single object selected, you can select the same um, of any of these attributes. But that's the magic wand tool. It's basically a selection tool that helps you select the same or similar colors as others in your document or strokes or opacity or these other blending mode things. That's how you can use the magic wand tool to make selections here in Illustrator.